That's live. Oh, yours says live already. Mine says preparing to stream, setting up your meeting. There we are. Hello. Okay, great. Um, there we are. Okay. All right, we have three people in the room already. So y'all say hi whenever y'all come in the room so that we'll know who's here. Um, and we're just gonna give people a few, just a few seconds or so to, to sure. get in there. Uh, but if everybody wants to start saying hi, we can say hi back while we're waiting for some people. Um, I'm excited about this particular interview because I've always been very interested in energy healing, but not necessarily I think I understand it, but I don't, you know, it's like, cause there's lots of different types out there. Yeah. It's like, what type do you go with that kind of stuff? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you had energy work done before? Have you had Never. healing? Never. Never, Never. Like nothing, like not cranial sacral, anything, nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, not energy healing. I've had, um, are you asking that for a reason? Uh, just curious. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> about the headache. The <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had brain surgery in 2008. That's why I'm, I'm like, okay, wait, do you know something? Okay. My brain stem was hanging outside of my skull, and they actually uh, had to cut part of my skull open. And they pulled the soft tissue down and, and sewed it and made like a little hairnet and stuffed my brain stem back up there. So, um, so I did have that. Um, wow. But, okay, maybe yeah. you shouldn't talk about that stuff. I'm, Say like, that again. I said, maybe you shouldn't talk about that stuff. I might start feeling it. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's fine. I don't have any problems at all since the wow. surgery at all. Wow. Um, let's see. Zoom. Interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Cancel. Okay, now I'm back. Now I'm back time with you i still had it on youtube a second ago okay so let's see who's in the room rainstorm hey how are you doing dawn uh yasma yasmia cora and uh dawn lush dawn loves energy work nice true uh okay and cora says she actually asked for this she wanted to have somebody talk about energy work so that's really exciting. awesome yeah that's awesome um, Y'all, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce, this is Carrie Viviano, and I do not know her, uh, but she talked to me about doing Roundtable, and whenever I got on her website and saw the um, incredible work she does with energy healing, I was like, wait a minute, maybe it'd be great for you to talk to us on the influencer night, because, you know, because she's so uh, skilled at what she does. So, with that said, Carrie, I'm going to let you tell the group a little bit about who you are and what you do, and then I'll start asking questions. And there, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, my questions will be baby questions because I don't know. That's okay. I'll, okay. I'll answer whatever questions come at me. Okay, great. Love questions. Um, welcome, everybody. At the moment, stay. Um, yeah, so my name is Carrie Viviano. Um, I do pranic healing. It's a form of energy healing um, <clears throat> that um, I don't know a lot of different modalities, but I used to be a Reiki master. So I do kind of compare it to Reiki, um, but um, I seem to think that it's um, one of the most advanced uh, methods out today. Um, I've seen amazing, amazing things happen with it. And um, I love it. It's my passion. It's my purpose. Right. Um, I, I love it. Like you said, you can, I think you can tell from the website that, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. That's my word for it. Yes. Okay. So, uh, and we've had a few more people come in. Hey, TA, Melon, Mo, Melina, uh, Ivan, it's nice to see y'all. Alekas, I hope I said that right. Um, and we have some more people that'll be coming in as we go. Okay, so, and and y'all, I'm gonna like stop looking at the chat for a while because I really want to get some information out here from Carrie. So uh, the first basic question that I have for you 
I have a lot of them running around in my head right now. But the first basic question I have is how does energy healing work? Exactly what happens? So the simplest way to put it is I use my energy body to work with your energy body. So um, there is the principle of oneness. We are all connected right. by source, by the divine, whatever you want to call it, God. Um, and um, this, we have an energy body because of that. So source energy is, it's just that. It's energy. Everything's energy. Everything's energy. So whenever, energy. whenever your energy body is working with, say, my energy body, um, so is your energy body doing what? What is the work that your energy body does? Is it like a detective to find the issue? And okay. then you invite source in. What, what happens? Okay. So with pranic healing, we are taught how to feel energy, how to sense energy. So we sensitize our hands to be able to feel the energy. So I can scan your, um, your body. I can scan your energetic system and I can see what we're looking for is congestion or depletion. We're looking for um, your chakras or your energy centers um, that are either have too much energy, energy there. There's a congestion or depletion, not enough. Or we also look for whether they're overactive or underactive. Um, and then based on that, we can, we'll clean you up. We'll clean you up. We'll balance everything out. Um, I was going to say, what was the question again? <laughs> I can't just get <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, does your energy body actually do some work or do you call in a higher power like source? I mean, what exactly? Right. Always what? invoke. Yes. Always invoke. Always call in for spirit guides, teachers, spiritual teachers, angels, archangels. Always invoke. Always call in um, first. And then, yes, um, I scan your field, figure out what's going on. Obviously interview, I would interview the client first. Right. Um, the great thing about chronic healing, it can work with just about everything. Emotional issues, psychological issues, um, physical issues from headaches, <laughs> to, <laughs> from headaches to cancer, to um, anxiety, depression, grief, addiction, um, PTSD, uh, arthritis, uh, everything, physical, mental, emotional, psychological. Okay. Um, so now I want to ask you another question. And this one is going to be maybe a little bit off topic and you may or may not know the answer or even have an opinion about it. Um, I was thinking about an, an article that I read or, or else I watched a video about a lady who left Reiki for Jesus how is that a disconnect because to me this is my opinion Jesus did the same thing but but her words were that with Jesus you get instantaneous healing and with Reiki you don't now again I'm gonna say everybody's got a filter and that was her experience with Reiki and yeah. her experience with Jesus some people pray to Jesus and never get anything um but for me, in my opinion, it's just all the same thing. So what, how do you see that whenever somebody makes a statement like that? Does it, what does it make go on in your mind? Well, the first thing is Jesus was the ultimate healer. Yeah. I mean, he was the ultimate healer. And um, I, you can't really compare. <laughs> you can't really compare him to other, other healing. But um Oh, geez. Uh, okay. So if there are, well, you don't have to talk about it. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm no, I'm trying to um, simplify it a little bit. So Jesus was the ultimate healer. Okay. <clears throat> he was um, right next to God. Okay. Um, the cleaner 
I th and I think I say this on our website, the cleaner, the clearer the vessel, the more energy you can flow through your system. Meaning you, the vessel. Yes. The he well, anybody really. The healer, the healer, right. Anybody. But if you're if you're doing this to heal, yes. The cleaner, the clearer the vessel, the more energy you can flow through you. So the more powerful a healer you're gonna be. Um so obviously Jesus was extremely powerful. Um he was, you know, right next to God and um that's why we have all of the miraculous healings and all of the stories of, of what he did. Um, so, yeah, every, I tell people there's more than one way to do this. There's more than one way to heal. Um, I love pranic healing. And to me, it, it's amazing. And I've just seen so many I've seen miraculous healings. I've seen just amazing things. So um, someone else might find Reiki or, or quantum touch or some other type of healing resonates with, would resonate with other people. So um, yeah, if someone wants to pray to Jesus or pray to God for their healing, yes, you can absolutely do that. Right. Um, but if you're looking to if you're looking for a healer that's in the physical body right if you're looking for a healer here that's in the physical body um yeah you definitely want to seek out someone who who has a clean clear vessel and so so let me ask you this question and i don't mean to interrupt you so if i go to interrupt you say wait cheryl i'm not done no, no, yet. No. <laughs> i'm serious Go ahead. Okay. Um, what I was going to ask you is, and, and this is, it could be personal. You might not want to answer the question, but I have a different theory and, and I'm going to share it with you. But what is your background religiously? I was raised Catholic. Okay. So, so mm -hmm. then, you know, this Jesus, when he walked the earth and, and people came to him and bowed to him and worshiped him, and he kept saying, it's not me, it's my father in me. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's mm -hmm. the same thing that you're doing. It's your father yeah. in you. It However, is. I have a person that I know suffered with migraines. And I said, I know an energy healer. I can't remember what her technique is. I said, you don't have to be in front of her. She can do it over the phone. Mm -hmm. and, you know, let me call her. And she says, no, I don't want to mess with that because that's evil. But mm -hmm. she's, you know, in the church and Christian. So, but I, to me, I feel like it's the same thing. Is it not the same thing? It is the same thing. I have the view that it is the same thing. Um, we're again, we're we all come from the one divine source. We all come from the one. So it, it is the same thing. Um, and again, everything is energy. Um, you know, we're taught this in school. The, the chairs energy, the tables energy, that everything is energy. Right. Your energy. I mean, everything is energy. What what I work with is subtle energy. It's um, you, you know, you can't always see it sometimes you can but so yeah everything's everything's energy and it does all come from one source but you know everyone has their belief and and um i don't discount that right everybody goes with what resonates with them mm -hmm. yeah. right so why pranic healing for you um so i was a reiki master um I didn't use it a lot. I kind of did Reiki shares and went and, and helped the community a little bit. You know, we would do Reiki shares on Fridays, that kind of thing. So um, I was unusually ill um, about seven years ago. And um, the doctors kind of couldn't tell me what was going on. And um I had been calling my Reiki friends saying, Hey, can you do healing on me? Hey, you know, and um, one of my friends said, um, you know, you need to go see someone else. And I was like, okay. He was slightly intuitive. And I thought, sure, whatever you say. And I started getting some chronic healing sessions done and um, I started to get better and it was immediate. 
Like I felt it immediately. And, um, and I was experiencing some, some anxiety too, because nobody could tell me what was going on. So not only did I physically get better, but the anxiety also got better. And um, I was hooked. Like two yeah. months later, I think I took my first class. So, and the other thing about Reiki, um, I'm sorry, pranic healing, why pranic healing is because I have an analytical mind and um, I love details. And a lot of people that tend to um, gravitate towards pranic healing are engineer types. Um, the founder of pranic healing, um, Master Cho Koksui, um, he was a chemical engineer. So um, a lot of people with that like to think and like details and are analytical are, are drawn to pranic healing um, because he kind of turned it into a science. He made it, he made it into a science. Um, it's very um, methodical. There's procedures and protocols and there's a lot of detail to it, a lot of detail. Right. Um, we use color prana, we use protocols. Um, yeah, there's a, a, a lot of detail to it. We use, um, I'm, now I'm kind of listing the differences between chronic and others, but um, we use an 11 chakra model, 11 major energy centers rather than the seven that we all know. So um, they've added a few more major centers that we use. Um, so there's 11, which actually equates to 14 front and back on your front body and back body, including your crown. So there's um, 11 major energy centers that we work with, um, which is one of the other differences. Right. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. So so for you, basically, it was uh, based on your own experience. That's where you went uh, with pranic healing. Right. Of what it did for you. So as a healer. Mm -hmm. um when you're not feeling well can you do energy work on yourself absolutely i did self-healing yesterday mm -hmm. awesome yeah, and that's actually one of the first things you learn in the in the basic level class you learn mm -hmm. how to do self-healing and you learn how to do distant healing so just like with reiki you can also do distant healing so wow. i have clients all over i have clients um in uh all over in canada in um, on the West Coast, on the East Coast, California, Chicago, um, Florida, New York. Um, I have clients, I've worked on people in India and Australia. Um, yeah. So you don't need to be present. Again, it's the principle of oneness. Right. You can connect right. through energy. Right. Just like with my readings, uh, it's, it's about yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. The, the cards themselves have absolutely zero power. They're just like note cards. And yeah. the energy comes from source, from God. Yeah. You're sensing the energy. Same thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's very interesting. Okay. So tell me your favorite story um, with one of your you know, clients without, without bre breaching confidentiality. You have a story that you can share with us that really touched your heart. Um, there's kind of a lot. Um, I don't, okay, I don't have just one, but it's, um, it's so gratifying and it's so humbling, um, to see someone really struggle with an emotional issue or, um, yeah, just really struggle with something. And it's just, it's so wonderful to, to see them heal and to see them get better. Um, I mean, I don't, it's hard to just pick one out of the air. I understand. Um, Believe me, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm honored to do this. I really am. I'm honored to do it. I'm honored to hold the space for people that, that, um, that are really seeking help. Um, 
yeah, it's it's amazing. I, I love my job. I love the job. <laughs> love what you do, huh? <laughs> so, so as a pranic healer and an intro leader, meaning that you teach introductory classes, mm -hmm. like what what would you tell a group of people like us? Uh, and some of them may have experience. I'll get back in the comments a in a little bit and, and see what's going on out there. But um, what would you tell us that, you know, what is the best self kind of self care we can do or the best kind of work we can do on ourselves um, that's in our highest and best good? I guess that would be different from for everybody. But what's the first thing you say in your class? Um, well, in, in classes, we actually, um, they're very experimental. I mean, we, we let you feel energy. Um, sometimes I'll even teach people how to see some air prana, see some energy sometimes. Um, you know, probably one of the best things you can do and everyone can do is learn how to breathe correctly. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I believe so, that. Yeah. So, um, so your solar plexus, most people know where their solar plexus is. It's, it's at the xiphoid process, um, that little space or squishy part just below your sternum, mm -hmm. um, where your ribs come together. That's where your solar plexus is. And that's the, the, um, your lower emotional center. So when we get stressed out, what happens with most people is they'll breathe through their chest. You'll, you'll see their chest rise and fall and they'll breathe through their chest. Or when we get anxious, um, same thing, they'll breathe through the chest. Um, and one of the reasons why is because you have excess congestion in your solar plexus um, and your solar plexus controls the organs that are behind it and also your diaphragm. So if you can breathe properly with big inhales, big exhales, using your abdomen, using your belly. So belly out, belly in, instead of shoulders up, shoulders down, right. or chest up, chest down, belly out, belly in, it actually cleanses your solar plexus. So um, yeah, that's one thing that everyone can learn how to do. And when you're stressed out, um, when you're stressed out, when you're, you know, having a bad day and, and you're feeling really tense, if you can just sit and relax and really focus on your breathing, you can lay down, focus on your breathing, inhale, exhale, and make sure that your belly is really pushing out and then your navel goes back into your spine when you exhale. If you learn how to breathe, you can relieve a lot of stress. Well, and as you're sitting there talking, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> so i'm gonna go to the comments here for just a little bit and see where we're at uh let's say so uh alekas and alekas i hope i'm saying that right aj okay great thank you uh oh no that's a different person hi aj she says she's, or he has never had energy work done before. So they're very interested in this. Um, she's heard of it, but never bothered to look into it. Reiki was developed by a Japanese Christian man. Um, okay. So here's a person that wants to know during this type of healing, do you receive the other person's energy? No, you don't receive it. No. So uh, yeah, that's one of the, um, <clears throat> Yeah, one of the questions, one of the concerns, or people will usually say, oh my gosh, after healing, aren't you drained or don't you feel, you know, exhausted or whatever? No, I feel great. I feel great because I've got the energy flowing through me. So I feel amazing after a healing. Um, so, no, go ahead. We're taught how to protect ourselves, ourselves too. So, um, but yeah, we, um, we, we are not drained from it. We don't, we can sense the other person's energy and what's going on, but um, yeah, we, we know how to disconnect from that. So it doesn't affect us. Yeah. So, but, but there are some people who have made those comments um, that, you know, oh, I'm so drained afterwards. So, mm -hmm. it's, so they're basically, they're holding on to it instead of allowing it to flow. Is that what you're saying? 
Um, there could be a couple of things that are happening. Yeah, they could be um, connecting to it, not letting go of it. Um, they could, yeah, we're taught how to disconnect. We're taught how to, um, if, if need be, how to shield that, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, you know what? I don't know enough about other modalities. To right. Okay. That's even good. Figure out what, what other people are doing. Right. Cause everybody's different. Yeah. Um, so Yazima or Yazima, I don't know how to say it and I apologize. Wants to know, how would you get started? Is this something that you learn or is it something that you just know? So I'm just going to let you know, Yazima or Yazima, that we will have uh, Carrie's website in the uh, description on the replay. Um, her website will be there so that you can connect. And if you want to give it right now, you can do that also. Sure. It's just, it's my name, CarrieViviano.com. Um, okay. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and pretty much it's all my name. My okay. Facebook page is Carrie Viviano. I don't think the dot's in there. I think it's CarrieViviano.com. Um, I think my Instagram is Carrie-Viviano, I believe. But um, no, it's something that you learn. There are classes and courses. Um, lots of them. So it's something that you can, um, like I said, I teach introductory classes, but there are, uh, there's a basic level class. There's an advanced class. There is a psychotherapy class, crystal healing class. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of levels and a lot of classes that you can take. Um, so now there, here's going to be a little kid question. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, reading something one time that said, do you want to know if you, if you're a healer and it said, take your hands and put them together like this and start yeah. moving them around. Well, when you do that, I like right now, I feel like this energy inside my hands. I think we all have that because everything's energy, right? Yes. Yeah. So master Chokoksui wanted to have, uh, or wants to still one, uh, healer in every family, one chronic healer in every family. Anyone can do this. You, we all are have the innate ability to heal. And you are absolutely right. You can sense and feel the energy. And that's what we do in, in our classes is we teach people how to sense and feel the energy. So yes, you can put your hands side by side, do a little bit of breathing, inhale, exhale, and you will start to feel something between the hands. Um, and if you want to do it now, you can, but you will. Yeah. And then if you, if you pull your hands out and pull them forward, I and mean, what does that feel like? Yeah, it's stretching. And, and it, and it like, when it's like this, it's all right here, but when I pull it out, it stretches out to the, to the ends. That's just me, mm -hmm. but it feels like, but, uh, it feels like almost like you have a sponge ball in your hand. Mm -hmm. And then the, the sensation on the skin is pins and needles and heat. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. That's prana. That's chi. That's yes. That is the subtle energy that we have flowing through us. Absolutely. And we all and have it. Every, uh, we wouldn't be alive if we didn't have it. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. Hey Kelly, it's good to see you here. Um, Okay, so energy can be transformed, never destroyed. TA mm -hmm. says, do you see or or just feel the energy? I mostly, yeah, I mostly feel it. Um, sometimes I'll have sight, but yeah, I mostly feel it. I sense it. Um, as I was saying to Cheryl uh, before we started, sometimes I'll feel it within my body. I'll feel a lot of times um, people leave things out when, when I interview them. And they'll, um, they'll forget to tell me things that they have going on and I will feel it within my body. And that is my indication that, uh Oh, you got to work on that. They've left something out. So, um, yeah, a lot of times I've asked questions and they're like, Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, you, so, so it's almost like you're an investigator. You're going in there and, and with yeah. your body, checking out their energy body and finding it. I yeah. really, that's so cool. Um, 
Okay, so uh, looking for other questions. Yes, Kelly, it's an honor to bring healing to others. Wow, this, okay. Um, I'm new to the group and did energy healing during massage therapy school 70 years ago, and it's still the most profound experience I've, okay. That's somebody's question. That's exciting, Doreen. Um, yes, uh, Alekas, wow, breathe, breathe right, or rainstorm. Yeah, breathe correctly, and we solve a whole lot of problems. I think that's great. Um, what can we do to improve our energy? TA is asking that question. I guess that would go back to that breathing, right? That's one thing. Um, what can we do to improve our energy? Um, okay, so everything's energy. Let's go back to that. Everything's energy. Thoughts are energy. Yes. Words are energy. Obviously, if we're, if we're just everything's energy. Food is energy. Food has prana in it. Um, essential oils have prana in it, energy, and everything is, is energy. So, um, to improve our energy, um, watch what you're thinking, watch what you're saying, um, you know, be more mindful of the emotions you're feeling, um, you know, to improve your energy, obviously you can get healing done, but, you know, it starts with your thoughts and your words, you know, what, what it what are you speaking? Are you, are you optimistic? Are you pessimistic? I mean, it starts with your thoughts and your words. Right. So let's go back to your, uh, your upbringing in the, in the Christian tradition. Um, does it conflict with what you're doing? Mm. No. Um, No, I, I would call myself more spiritual now than religious. Um, but it doesn't, it, 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 you know what? Pranic healing actually connected the dots for me. And it actually, it kind of brought me back, back to faith. Um, because now it makes sense. Now a lot of it makes sense. The, I haven't read the Bible front to back, but the Bible is about spirituality. The Bible is a lot of spiritual teachings. Yes. Um, it, the Bible's not literal. It's right. not literal. So um, chronic healing has been able to connect all of that for me. Um, and in my mind, no, it's not... Um, it's not contradictory. It's not, it's, it's all about the energy. It's all, and it's in the Bible and it's, it's all in there. Um, right. You just kind of have to read between the lines. <laughs> well, and, and like you said earlier, you know, uh, Jesus was the, the greatest healer that we have record of, but Jesus himself said all these things that I do, you're going to do the same things and even greater mm -hmm. things than these. Will you do? Jesus said mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the, the really deep questions that I had while I was in church and kind of like you, when you get into spirituality, it kind of connects the dots mm -hmm. that you didn't understand before. Like, yeah. like, yes, Jesus, we can do all the things you can do. Thank you for teaching us that shame on us for not grabbing mm -hmm. hold of it and believing yeah. it. But yeah. what you were doing is exactly what he did energy healing because he he didn't he didn't have tools he wasn't a doctor right he mm -hmm. he touched people sometimes he didn't touch them mm -hmm. the, the man who who came a uh, centurion centurion man or whatever and wanted somebody one of his uh people healed and 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 jesus said uh take me to him and the man says no I'm a man under authority, just like you. All you have to do is say the word and I know he'll be healed. So mm -hmm. it was the energy between them that got sent. So, yeah. and just like your remote healing. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, 
and and that's what it is. It's the energy that that you allow to flow through you, um, that that can heal. Now with pranic healing, we it's not all spiritual healing that we do. Okay. Um, so we are taught to um, because we can work with uh, the physical body and and emotional healing. Um, there's two different types of energy that we work with. So we can work with spiritual energy, yes. Um, um, but uh, Master Chokoksui found out that um, if you use like lower, grosser, denser energy, um, you can heal the physical body faster. So we're taught different color pranas um, that will help to heal the physical body. Um, and those energies are kind of lower, grosser energies. So we pull energy from the, the atmosphere. We pull energy from the air. We use air prana, um, to heal some of those lower, um, you know, to heal something physical, like a cut or, a um, something in the physical body. So it's not all spiritual energy that we're we're um, using. Um, but yeah. if we're all one and source is everything, isn't it still the same thing? It's lower energy, but it's still part of source, right? Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let's let's <laughs> Yes. Uh, this is true. Um, it is all, it, it is all, but, um, energies have different vibrations and different frequencies. Yes. So, um, let's see. Um, just trying to think of, a, a something to compare it to. Um, so we're taught different color prana and, um, Let's see. Let me use. Uh, I don't know what to use. Yeah, energy has different vibrations. So um, something in the physical body, you're going to want like a lower vibration energy. I mean, that's what we've. You know, the earth. You're going to want earth energy or air energy, or because that's what. Um, propels our body that's what feeds our our body so we eat we eat food which has prana in it that is what nourishes our body that's what feeds the, the physical body so you're going to want something um with a different type of prana um different type of chi or different type of energy um yes it does all come from source um and um, the way I look at it is how much oh, boy, this is this might be too mental. This might be too mental. Think of it as a hierarchy. Think of it as a hierarchy. So um something of a lower vibration isn't going to have as much divine source in it as um, a higher frequency. Does that make sense? So something of the, something of the earth or even just dirt itself isn't going to have the same amount of spiritual energy in it. Um, it, it will have some, because it's all we're all connected, we're all related, but the I I want to say the amount of it is not going to be as significant or the, or the same. Okay. Um. But but so so like let's just go back to Jesus, and I, I hate to keep comparing you to Jesus. I certainly don't want you to feel uncomfortable, but. <laughs> But it's one of the big questions that I've had all my life. If Jesus said all these things he did, we can do. Why aren't we all healing each other? Um, 
So, so let's go back to Jesus. So whenever he says, it's not me, it's my father who, uh, my father who works through me. Mm-hmm. In other words, he, uh, sometimes just sent his word to heal. And, the, and this is when you're looking at literally, and I don't know if it was him or somebody else who spit in some mud and put it on somebody's eyes so they could see he was using the earth energy mm-hmm. to, to, to help him block. So it's still, but for me, it's all spiritual. Even these, even, even this has spiritual energy in it. That's just me though. So what does prana mean? What does prana mean? Prana is prana is that prana is the life force. Um, prana is this energy, this life force that is all pervasive. It that's what it is. It's and like you said, it's everywhere. It's within everything. So yeah, prana is um, it's called many things in many traditions. Prana, chi, ki, reiki, ki, right, chi, ki. It's it's um, it is this universal energy that is all around and that is also within us um so basically when you're saying the lower denser energies and and you seem to be choosing your words carefully like you don't want to offend me and it is okay to (laughs) offend me i just want you to know that i i I can be gracefully offended (laughs) <laughs> or graciously offended. I, I, I would not take offense is what I'm trying to say. But so for, so, so what you're saying about the energy, sometimes I pull the higher energy. Sometimes I pull the lower energies. It's all energy kind of like sometimes I'll use uh, anesthesia and sometimes I'm just going to use a local. Yes. Oh, good comparison. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, but, but it all is, it's all in that case, medicine. Mm-hmm but it has different jobs. Yes, absolutely. Everything that's ever been created has different jobs. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then we'll go back to color prana again. So every color has a certain characteristic yeah. or certain properties. Right. So if I want to heal <clears throat> again, if I want to heal the physical body, if I want to heal something uh, in the muscles or in the bones, I'm going to use a different color prana to heal that because that's a different vibration, a different frequency. It's a, diff- it's a lower vibration. Yes, if I so. want to heal emotional issues or psychological issues, I want to use a different frequency, a different color prana because that, um, I almost want to say that like the penetrating effect of that is different. Um, you, right. you, you, it requires a certain, uh, a certain type of energy to actually break down that energy or to, to, um, to disintegrate it or, or break it down. Right. Um, if I want to soothe something or calm something, I'm going to use a certain or take pain away. I'm going to use a, a different color prana, different type of energy um, that has those characteristics and those properties. Okay. So it makes sense. It, well, it all makes sense. I mean, and, and so I'm thinking about back to that lady earlier that left Reiki to go uh, to Jesus mm-hmm. because in Jesus name, um, people are healed instantaneously and they showed some stuff on, uh, on a video, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But my, um, my, um, my, my, thought about it all is just like it's all still energy Mm -hmm. and I think that the 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 patient this is my opinion I think that the patient uh is going to be healed and is going to do well based on their thoughts Mm -hmm. uh and and how they feel about it because if they reject it completely they're not going to benefit from it at all because they'll never call you but so okay wait where was i going with that um so back to jesus whenever he said it's not my it's not me it's my father in me in other words maybe he wasn't thinking about okay what is the color of the vibration that they need but he would just say okay father you know what they need send it to him you know 
That would yep. be the way I would do it. Okay. I don't have time to go learn all the colors and uh, okay, yeah. Father, you just do it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that father or God or source or creator, whoever it is for anybody didn't do exactly what you're talking about. Pull the energies from the earth mm-hmm. to yeah. end whatever it was that needed to be. Made. Exactly. Okay. So you talked about the blind healing when he healed the blind man or, or whatever it was. So he put uh, his saliva, which is actually a certain color prana which has specific properties. Your saliva has specific properties oh, yeah. right. in it. So he put his saliva on, on the eyes with, with the energy of the earth. Was it dirt? Was it really dirt? I don't, I don't know. know. And I'm not even sure. There's a story yeah. about it. And I think that's the way it goes. And, and my friend Kelly's on here. So he'll correct me if I have that story wrong. <laughs> but, but there is something where he picks up the dirt and, and spits in it and makes like a paste. And mm-hmm. I want to say he opens the man's eyes with, he makes him. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, the, I know, I know for a fact that the saliva has a certain color prana to it that would aid in that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the dirt too, right? I would think, no, yes. sure. maybe the energy of, yeah. The energy of soil. Yeah, absolutely. So we have so much stuff on here. <laughs> Great. Let me go Great back. Off. And we're about 10 minutes out. So, um, okay. Okay. So started, oh, we answered that one. So Sagicorn, I love Sagicorn. She's always popping in or he's always popping in. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Greetings, Cheryl and Carrie and everybody. And God bless. Um, Rise up recovery channel. I'm late, but grateful. Above your belly button is the, okay. Wow. Breathe correctly. I'm looking for questions. Um, I tend to give from my own energy source instead of remembering to fill up from source and allow. Yeah, as an as an empath, somebody saying they tend to to give from themselves and forget to fill up again. Deborah Lee says, "Sorry, just joined. See, everything is energy. What is the most important energy to focus on as a beginner and how to learn?" So we talked about that a little bit earlier in the thing about the breathing, correct? Mm-hmm. Most important energy to focus on is just the breath. Not the most important energy to focus on, but um, it's it's a good way to um, it's a good way to expel energy from your lower emotional center. Um, so with that question, what is the most important energy to focus on? I would say if you're able to meditate you, and if you're able to do a spiritual meditation, um, you can bring down more uh, spiritual energy. And um, one of the uh, meditations that we do in pranic healing, which I also, um, I do weekly meditations, monthly meditations. um, We do a meditation called uh, meditation on twin hearts. And um, it's a beautiful meditation that uses the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Mm-hmm. And um, it allows you to bring in some spiritual energy and to flush your system. Um, so if you're able to do a spiritual meditation, that will help to um, cleanse and purify your system um, and bring in more divine energy. So, and ultimately that's what most meditations do when you're able to calm the body, calm the mind, um, calm your emotions, you're able to connect with source. And when you connect with source, you're able to bring in more of that divine energy. And then that's, we lead from there. We lead from, we lead with love. We lead with that divine energy. Right. Okay. So. Uh, so Deborah, there's your answer. So, uh, rise up recovery channel, right? Retired Catholic, more spirituality and healing and no dogma. Just tuned in. Hello. I'm looking for a question. Uh, so this person said they need to find out more. They would have never thought to use lower denser energy. So that's AJ. So AJ, perhaps you could go check out Carrie's website. Uh, Hi, Carol. Beth, I I butt-cheeked this, really. I just want to share. I'm all about every... 
lately and yes had a jesus vision still working on that glad the divine had me butt dial this somebody accidentally <laughs> showed up <laughs> right that. To be here. <laughs> there's no accidents we're glad you're here uh, uh okay so sagicorn says yes mud and spit on the eyes we were okay. talking about earlier um and so ta says yes that's right grounding about earth energy she's rebecca Having power to heal and create super magical does not always require high vibrations or divine of divine love. So she's saying that moving energy doesn't always require the divine love or he. I don't know. No, it, does, it doesn't. I mean, order. right, right. Um, it doesn't. So basically, that's what you were saying too. It's not always about right uh, the higher spiritual energies or whatever. Okay, no, it's not. So we are just about uh, nine minutes in uh, away from the top of the hour. So guys, if y'all have any questions out there, please put them in because uh, we want to take advantage of Carrie's time. And while we're waiting on that, Carrie, do you have like, is there something that in the days leading up to this interview that you thought, I want to make sure and say this, is there anything that you want to say? Um. No, you know what? I just, I really wanted to cover the differences. And I think we kind of did that. Um, he, I guess healing protocols is the other. Well, okay. There's a couple things. Okay. So we talked about color prana, mm -hmm. that there's different colors, which have different characteristics and different properties. Um, and we talked a little bit about the 11 chakra model that we use in pranic healing. So uh, there are a total of 11 major chakras. We can work with all of the energy centers um, of the body, but we focus on the 11 major ones, which feed the organs and um, everything that's kind of behind those. Um, every chakra has physical characteristics and emotional characteristics to it. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, um, for instance, um, well, I already talked about the solar plexus. Everyone knows the solar plexus. So that's your lower emotional center. So if someone comes to me and says, I'm stressed, I'm experiencing anxiety, um, I'm going to focus on the solar plexus. If someone comes to me and says, I'm having gastrointestinal issues, or I have a stomach is issue or ulcer, or I'm going to focus on the solar plexus because the solar plexus feeds the stomach. Um, all those organs right behind it. Um, so physical characteristics and emotional characteristics. Um, what else? Um, so we can work with the major centers, which are, there are 11, but it equates to 14 front and back body. And then um, all the mini and minor chakras. You have energy centers on your organs. You have energy centers on every joint on your fingertips and, you know, every area of your body. So, um, so when you're a pranic healer, like you go through so much school, <laughs> yeah. it's like learning all the muscles, all the blood vessels, all that stuff. You're learning all kinds of stuff. Like you said, he made it like a science. He did. Um, I do have a background in, um, fitness and the medical field. So, I'm, I was kind of fortunate that I was able to know a lot of that um, beforehand. So, um, so that kind of helps. Um, some of the other things, let's see, uh, protocols. Um, so Master Chokok Sui also developed protocols. So if someone comes to me and says, um, I have arthritis or I have uh, a migraine, whatever it might be, Mm -hmm. um, I can look up the protocol and it will tell me step by step what energy centers I need to clean, what color prana I need to use, um, you know, the, the process or the procedure of how to help to heal a migraine or arthritis or whatever it might be. So there are protocols, step by step procedures. And then lastly, um, one of the major differences in chronic healing is that we clean clean, 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 clean before we energize. So before we project any energy into the system, before we place fresh prana in the system, we cleanse the system. So probably 
at least 80% of um, the healing is focused on cleansing. And I always say to people, you wouldn't put, um, you know, clean, fresh water in a dirty cup. Right. Would you? So we cleanse the system first and then um, project fresh fresh energy, fresh prana. Just like whenever you have a cut, you don't just throw a Band-Aid on it. You clean it. You yeah. clean the area and then you put yeah. a Band-Aid Okay, so uh, so TA has another question, and uh, and AJ said, great question. So they want to know, when taking a class on this, should we be in a group with a classroom, or can you do it online? Um, most of the classes are taught um, in a classroom setting, in person. Um, I have taken one class online. Um, but I don't think they're mostly not offered online. So um, they're all over. Um, you can go to pranichealing.com slash uh, events and or just pranichealing.com. And you can search up every state um, and where pranic healing classes are offered. Um, there are introductory classes where it's a two hour class well, where you'll learn just the basics, basics of chronic healing. Um, the basic level chronic healing class or level one class, um, you learn uh, simple healings, how to do simple healings. You'll learn how to feel the energy, how to, there are steps in chronic healing that you have to follow. So you'll learn general sweeping, you'll learn localized cleaning, local, localized sweeping. Um, you'll do the meditation twin hearts. You'll learn um, self-healing and distant healing. And then once you take advanced pranic healing, that's when you start to learn color pranas. So you learn color pranas, more advanced protocols um, like cancer and things like that. Um, and then there's a psychotherapy class, which is emotional healing. Um, you'll learn... Um, how to heal addictions, grief, depression, all the big hitters. Yeah. Well, I've heard that or I've read and I really buy into this that every <coughs> physical ailment for the most part has an emotional root cause. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We we hold a lot of a lot of emotional energy. <coughs> Excuse me. And we never, we don't get rid of it. We hold so much emotional energy. You know what happens to us? We're, we're 40 years old. Our bodies are 40 years old. And that's when we start to fall apart. That's when things start to happen. Because and, we've been um, carried so long. Yeah, we've just carried all that emotional energy for so long. <coughs> okay, well, it is about, we got two minutes left. So I'm going to take two minutes to let you give your contact information. Okay, sure. Um, my website is kerryviviano.com. Um, pretty, pretty much everything's my name. Facebook, uh, Kerry Viviano. I don't think the dots in there. I just think it's kerryviviano.com, C-O-M. Um, I'm on Instagram. I believe it's Kerry slash Viviano. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, come find me. Okay. Um, and then I have... Especially on my website, I have links to everything. Um, you can email me, text me, call me if you have questions. Um, my email is Carrie at pranichealing.com. Carrie Viviana at pranic healing? No, just Carrie. Okay. Carrie at pranichealing.com. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. So, okay. And all that's on my website. <coughs> Sorry. All that's on my website. Okay. Yes. And I will, again, I will link her website to the, uh, in the description once it goes to replay. And, uh, so you guys will have that too, but Carrie, thank you so much. I want to apologize for me because I just, I have not felt good this entire interview with my, I'm stuffy and headache and all that. And uh, we, need, yeah, we may need to keep you on and uh, do a little healing for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> the, the first thing I said, y'all, just so y'all know, the first thing I said, can you see my energy? <laughs> That's the first thing I said to Carrie, not hi, hello, hey, can you see my energy? <laughs> um, 
but anyway, uh, I want to thank you so much for your time and for oh, your, you. um, generosity to, to sit here and visit with us and answer questions and, and stuff like that and, and educate us. We really do appreciate it. And I look forward to maybe having you back one day. Oh, uh, awesome. I thought of probably about three or four more questions while you were given your, <laughs> your, your contact information, which is, that's how it goes. Right. Exactly. Uh, but thank you so much. All you guys out there in YouTube land. Thank y'all so much for always showing up and having great questions and being such a great part of this community and uh, hit Carrie up. If you have other questions, she'll be happy to answer them. Absolutely. And I look forward to seeing y'all next time. Um, until then, y'all, everybody go out and have a super duper day. Bye. Bye, Carrie. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Let me see. I got to have my eyes on to see. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>